in Sumo Studios. On the screen is Daz Central. This video assumes that you have already installed Daz Studio and Unreal Engine. Once you have that Daz Studio installed, you'll need to go to your Daz Central and go to the bridges and go to Daz to Unreal. This will automate the export process. And you'll want to hit install, follow the instructions, and so on. Then, um, once that's done, you'll need to go to Unreal and create a project. Again, I assume in this video, we assume that you have, you're familiar with Unreal and you can create a project. In this case, I created my project and I'm just, I just need a character. Now we switch over to Daz and we can see here, I already have a character designed. I think it's a great gaming character. I selected this character as my main character. I didn't make any modifications, just default. I selected this short hair right here as um, the hair, which looks very nice, as you can see. I did change it to black. And then under the wardrobe, I selected the sky uh, jumper, which I think is a really cool um, uh, clothing. If I can find it here. Uh, where's my sky jumper? And again, it's all leather, and it's good for, um, here it is, Sky Jumper Outfit. I like it because it can be used for futuristic projects or historical. You know, you can put a samurai in her hand or a laser gun, and the uniform or the clothing looks good. Okay, now that we have the character ready, we just need to hit File, Send to, Daz to Unreal. And it will come up with some settings. You can accept, give it a name and accept the defaults. And that will start the export process. What's going to happen now is that it's going to finish this export, this handoff to Unreal. And then Unreal is going to start importing, as you're seeing on the screen. What you end up with is a really nice uh, export of the character, the clothing, the body, the skin, the makeup, the, the eyelashes, everything comes across really, really well, except the hair. Once this screen pops up, which you might see, it's just some warnings. So we can go ahead and close that for now. And as you can see, this Daz to Unreal, it has created the folder for the character that whatever name you gave it when you exported. So let's go in there and you can see here's our character. We have a physical act, a physics asset, we have our animation, and we have the actual character, which is the mesh. Let's open that up and take a look. Okay, zoom in here a bit. As you can see, the character looks pretty good. Uh, you can get close here and see the, the makeup and the eye color and the clothing. It's pretty, it's really good actually. The clothing looks great, character, but the hair, you can see here, it's, it's invisible. It's, it's really kind of really bad actually. Let's, um, let's focus on the head here and rotate around. You can see the scalp looks pretty good, but again, it's not hair and you can fiddle around with the materials, but it's just a model. It's not hair which means it doesn't have any physics, so it's not going to move in the wind or move when the character's running or walking or jumping. And we're going to fix that in the next video.